tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News. Good afternoon. We're coming up on 1230. Bill Bryant and Barbara Bailey reporting for WKYT. A walk today in honor of a slain state trooper. Police, the jailer, and citizens marched along Main Street in London in memory of Trooper Joseph Ponder. He was shot and killed after a traffic stop on I-24 in Lyon County in western Kentucky Sunday night. WKYT's Phil Pendleton is in Laurel County now and has our top story at 12:30. Phil, jailer Jamie Mosley organized this march, saying that it was simply time to take to the streets to honor. The memory of the slain Kentucky State Trooper. Now, Mosley is a former state police dispatcher and instructor. He says he realizes the dangerous environment that law officers are in every day. Trooper Ponder was killed in a traffic stop, and these people say police need protection and respect. I'm very concerned that we have officers, because of the climate that they're working in, are hesitating sometimes uh, in, in, in doing their job and really. Taking that extra moment to consider, you know, the the perception of what's out there. The march began this morning at 11 o'clock at the courthouse. Following a prayer, it ended at the Kentucky State Police Post, where vans were waiting to take people back downtown. In Laurel County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Phil, thank you. Mosley said that taking an hour off of their day for those who put their lives on the line is the least they can do. We're tracking the investigation into a double stabbing. Investigators in Powell County say one of the victims was attacked by a group of people at Pine Creek Apartments after breaking up a fight at a nearby park. Witnesses say the attackers ran off afterwards, leaving the victim badly injured. I seen him come this way, and that's when they attacked him here, and they stabbed him multiple times in the stomach. I think once in the, the face part in the arm. Now, a second man was also stabbed. We don't know the names or conditions right now, but we're told that one of them had to be airlifted to a hospital. Part of the Bluegrass Parkway has just reopened after a crash involving a tractor trailer. A semi hauling oil crashed about 9 30 last night in Nelson County. And while the westbound lanes have reopened, the eastbound lanes will be closed a few more hours. The closure made the morning commute longer than usual for many drivers. Had to go around everything, kind of make a big loop. So I've lost about a half an hour. The driver of the semi was airlifted to a Louisville hospital with a punctured lung and spleen. A grand jury has indicted a man on 22 charges in a human trafficking case. The State Journal reports the charges for Jonathan Diaz include human trafficking, unlawful transaction with a minor, and illegal sexual activity. Frankfurt police say Diaz used social media to recruit teenage girls for prostitution. When police arrested Diaz at a motel in July, they say he had a 15-year-old girl with him. A man accused of impersonating an officer served one day in jail after pleading guilty. Winchester police arrested Colt Christopher September 1st. They say he claimed he was an officer while trying to get his wallet back from a woman. He pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct and received 90 days in jail, 89 of which were conditionally discharged for two years. The Winchester Sun reports impersonation, alcohol intoxication, and menacing charges were dismissed. Someone stole a donation jar from a Lexington gas station for a second time. The Shell station on Polo Club Boulevard had been collecting donations for victims of the Nepal earthquake. The first donation jar was stolen last month. The owner put out a new jar, but it has been taken too. The owner says it's scary how quickly the thief took it and got away. I think I'm not going to put any more that collecting people money and give somebody that, that bad people. I'm not putting any more jar here. There's people out here that need, and for the people that need to have people provide for them and to have somebody to steal it, I think it's just devastating. I think it's terrible. No arrests have been made in either of those thefts. More than 20 schools took part in a special drill this morning. The drill taught students what to do in case of a chemical accident at the Bluegrass Army Depot in Madison County. Clark Moore's Middle School is one of the schools that took part. The principal says it's important to be prepared. Now we hope it never happens. <laughs> I mean, it is a concern, yeah. but uh, 
but we have to do what we have to do to keep our, our people safe. Clark Moores is the school closest to the depot. Well, the National Guard is joining the search for people swept away by deadly flash floods in Utah. Monday's flooding is now blamed for at least 16 deaths, and as Ben Tracy reports, four others are still missing. There's two vehicles. Oh no, oh no, there's two vehicles. Amateur video captured the powerful flash floodwaters in Hilldale sweep away a van and an SUV Monday. Three women and 13 children were inside. Only three managed to survive. One is still missing. Virginia Black watched the tragedy unfold. I'm still really shook up. It was very heart wrenching. Front end loaders and bulldozers have been working day and night, clearing away piles of mud and debris that washed onto roadways. Roughly 500 people have volunteered to help in the rescue effort. Right there is where the vehicles were parked. Hilldale Mayor Philip Barlow says his town is prone to flooding, but he has never seen destruction this severe. We're just greatly humbled by this, but we realize that you know this is an act of God, and this is something that we can't we can't control. In nearby Zion National Park, four people exploring this deep canyon were found dead. Officials are searching for three others. When asked whether or not they expect to find them alive, a park ranger told us she doesn't have much hope. Ben Tracy, CBS News. Springdale, Utah. And by the way, that area is bracing for some more storms later today and more possible flooding. It's a war designed to get people healthy. East Kentucky Power Cooperative and Clark Regional Medical Center began a friendly competition this morning called the Winchester Walking War. Employees of each business will try to walk more miles than the other between September 18th and November 1st. But this is just a fun way to get both companies, East Kentucky Power and Clark Regional, get our employees involved and show that we really support healthy lifestyles and have fun at the same time. Now, all mileage reporting is on the honor system. Participants can track their miles on a treadmill or wherever they wish to walk. All right, good for them. I guess you could question somebody if they, <laughs> if they came up with some way out of bounds amount, right? They're going to be honest about <laughs> all of it. That's right. Good luck to them over there getting, uh, getting healthy.